onwards we are going to discuss the transformations of the of uh, exponential graphs uh, that are uh, basically four there there are four different types of the transformations and we will divide them in in cases we will discuss the four cases one by one so that we can understand we will understand what uh, what are their properties how to understand them how to graph them so whenever you are given with such functions in the form of transformations so uh, first of all we know that the general form of exponential function that we have discussed in our previous lecture is f of x is equals to a dot b raised to power x now this is the general form of the exponential function but when we talk about the transformations this general form is also transformed so let's say let's see in the case one where we are graphing the horizontal shape i will tell you in detail about the horizontal shape but but currently you just know that in case one how we are going to alter the exponential function so the general form of the exponential function will be altered as f of x minus h is equals to a dot b raised to power x minus h or or f of x plus h is equals to a dot b raised to power x plus h so what it is showing by just looking at these two equation it is clear here that we are adding some shift we are adding some constant value to the x we are adding some constant value to the value of the x or we are adding something into the input in x is basically the input in the function and f of x minus h is the output so if we are adding something in the input the the impact will be on the output as well so these are the general form of the of the horizontal shapes if um, these are the general form when the exponential function is shifted horizontally when the shift the when whenever you came across the functions like these it should be clicked in your mind that this is a horizontal shift either it will be on the right side or it will be on the left side the shift is basically the the effect of this shift will be on the original function that is f of x so so let's take an example so that you can understand it better when we plot it on the graph when we plot the different points and when we discuss its properties one by one i'll take the simplest example so that you can understand it better so it will be f of x the original function is f of x is equals to 2 raised to power x but when we talk about the translation or the horizontal shift or the transformation this function is transformed into the two types the first is either f of x plus 2 is equals to 2 raised to power x plus 2 and the other is f of x minus 2 is equals to 2 raised to power x minus 2 so we have three different functions at this time and we will plot three different curves on the graph so that you can have the difference between the three but one thing that you should keep in your mind is the other some uh, properties that you should know before plotting the these two function so the function x plus 2 basically shift the original function that is f of x to the left by how many units by two units as we are adding two so this thing you should know before plotting it as whenever you uh, you uh, came across the function like this you should it should be it should be clicked in your mind that it's moving to the left while the function f of x minus 2 will shift the function f of x to the right by two units this is one thing another important thing is that is uh, uh, common in uh, both of these functions is that f of x plus 2 as well as x as well as x minus 2 the function will be having the exponential growth because the base is Two that is greater than one. So whenever you have a base greater than one, there will be an exponential increase in the function. So this function will also be having the exponential growth just because of this base two. If this base is greater than one, it means there will be an exponential increase. And if it's less than one, or if uh, or it if it's between zero and one, so it there will be an exponential decay that I have told you in the previous lecture. so these are the two main information that we have um, that we must have before plotting the that we that everyone should know before plotting the graph now let's draw these um, the functions on the graph so that you can have the clear concept here i have made a, um, a table so we will use a purple color to represent the function f of x so this is f of x 
and we will plot it on the graph as well. So the points are minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All these are random points and their corresponding values based on the function f of x equals to 2 raised to power x are. So these are the different points of on the graph that we need to plot. So keep this in mind that y intercept is when x is equals to 0. So here y intercept is this point 0 and 1. So let's plot them so that we can understand it better. First of all, we have minus 2 and 0.25. So minus 2 is x and 0.25 is y. So it will be a point somewhere here. If I use a black color, then we have minus 1 and 0.5. It will be point here. Then we have 0 and 1. This is the y intercept. Then we have 1 and 2. This is another point. Then 2 and 4. This is another point, then 3 and 8, and this is another point, and so on. So, let's join them together to see how the function actually look like. So, it will look like this, somewhat like this, and this is f of x. Now, the transformation will be with respect to this function. This is the parent function. And let's see the transformations, that is uh, f of x plus 2 and x minus 2. So, let's draw their tables as well. So these are the two table. One is representing the function f of x plus 2. It's for f of x plus 2. And this is for f of x minus 2. And accordingly, we will plot these with blue and red on the graph as well. So the points are, so in the function f of x plus 2, when we put minus 2, what we will get? We will get 1. And for minus 1, we will get 2. For 0, we will get 4. For 1, it will be 8. Then 16 and then 32 and it will be 64 and so on. For the function f of x minus 2, that is 2 raised to the power x minus 2, for minus 2 we will have, so these are the different points of both the uh, shifted version of the function f of x, that is x plus 2 and x minus 2 and we are going to plot them on the graph so that we can see how they differ from the original function f of x, which one shifts to the right and which one shift to the left. As we have already written that the the uh, the, uh, the uh, transformation with the plus sign will be shifted to the left and the transformation with the negative sign will be shifted to the right. So let's plot them one by one. First of all, we'll plot f of x plus 2 with the red color so that you can understand easily. So x plus 2 is, first of all, we have minus 2 and 1. Minus 2 and y is 1. So it's my this point. Then minus 1 and 2 this point then 0 and 4 that is the y intercept where it is cutting the y axis then 1 and 8 and it will be this point and so on so we need no, not to plot the further points so how it will look alike let's see it will be like this if i take further point it will be 0.5 at this point so it will be like this so this is the function if i write here f of x plus 2. So, the original function is shifted to the left that we have already written that when you add something, it will shift it to the left. So, it is shifted left to 2 units. So, the next one is f of x minus 2. Let's see how it will look like. First of all, we will plot the points minus 2 on minus on point 0 0.06. So, it will be point somewhere here. Then point 0.12 so in here. Then we have 0, it's 0 0.25 is the y-intercept. Then 1 and 0.5 is point here. Then 2 on 2, it will be 1. On 3, it will be 2. On 4, on 4, it will be 4. And if I say on 5, on 8, somewhere here. So if I join the points, it will look like this. So this is f of x minus 2. So it is clear here that when you are subtracting something from the original function, from the x value of the original function, it will shift to the right and if you are adding something, it will shift to the left. So keep this in mind that shifting is due to the shift, the y intercepts are also changing. If I highlight the y, y intercept, in the original function it was 0, 1, here it is 0, 4 and here it is 0, 0.25. So, it means this shift has an impact on the y-intercept, but there will be no impact on the asymptotes. 
what are asymptotes asymptotes basically asymptotes are basically a straight line or the curve that a mathematical function appro approaches but never um, uh, but never reaches so it describes the limiting behavior of a function so here the asymptote will remain the same that is the x axis so if i highlight the asymptote it will be this x axis so this shifting has no impact on the asymptotes but it has an impact on the y intercepts so that's all from today's lecture thank you